Hello, I'm George Ura, recording for ICIT. In this week's Microsoft Office Feature of the Week podcast, we are going to have a look at how you can create sub-presentations in your PowerPoint presentations. If you're not quite sure what I'm talking about, let's have a look. Here on my desktop, I have a sample presentation, and I will double-click to open it in PowerPoint. And PowerPoint starts and opens my presentation. As you can see, it's a sample presentation um, which is for a fictitious, non-existing program, study abroad program for students. In this presentation, I have slides about overall advantages of study abroad programs. Then I have slides with information about specific countries where students can go and some information about each one of the programs located in each one of those countries. Because this is presentation for students interested in Spanish and Spanish language. It includes countries from Latin America and also it includes study programs in Spain. Now let's suppose that you are giving this presentation to students who are only interested in Latin America and that means that you don't really need the slides about Spain. Now of course you could delete those slides and save it as a new presentation but PowerPoint 2007 offers you a new feature and it makes saving different presentations in one file much easier than before. So let's go to slideshow on our ribbon right here. I will click that and let's select custom slideshow. If I click, it says custom shows and nothing is listed below. I will click that again and it pops a dialog box with no slideshows listed. I will create a new one by clicking New. Now in this dialog box, it allows me to give this a title. So let's call it Latin American Studies. Oops, I have a typo here. Latin American Studies. And now I can select the slides on the left. This is a list of all of my slides and tell it which slides I would like to select for this smaller, shorter presentation. You can select them one by one and click Add. Or instead, you could click, hold the control key, and keep on clicking, selecting the slides you want. So I will select all these. Alternately, if you're selecting a range, you could hold the Shift key. I will do that. And you could click the first one and then the last one. It would select all of them in between. So control lets you select separate non-contiguous items and shift lets you select the first and the last and all the items in between. Very good. So I selected these. I also need to select credits and acknowledgments. So I will hold control on my keyboard and click once. And now that I select these, I will click Add. As you can see, now I have two Study Spanish slides selected, so I don't need this one. I will remove it, click Remove. If you want to, you can also rearrange the order of slides by using the arrows here on the right. But I'm happy with this as it is, with the order as it appears here. So I'm going to click OK and Close. And now, if we go to custom slideshow, as you can see, we have Latin American studies as one of the choices. We can also create another custom show. There's no limit to how many custom shows you can create. Okay, so what's the difference now? If I go and select the first slide and we'll start a slideshow, it will go through all of my slides. So that means that it will include information about countries in Latin America, but also it will include information about Spain, Madrid and Salamanca, information about Granada and about Barcelona and Bilbao. I don't want that. That's why I saved my shorter version. Now instead, if you want to um, show a presentation, which is the abbreviated one, you will go to Custom Slideshow and click Latin American Studies. This will start the presentation as we saved it 
the shorter version with only the information about Latin America. Let's try that. Now, as you can see, now we have the same initial slides. But when we get to the last one, normally this one, Ecuador, would be followed by Spain slides. Instead, we will just go directly to credit slide. So we skipped all the slides which we didn't need. I will press Escape key on my keyboard to come back. And you could create as many sub-presentations as you would like to. Um, that is sometimes very practical. If you have lots of slides, let's say a PowerPoint presentation, which you originally planned for one hour, and somebody will ask you to present an abstract of this in just 10 minutes. You can save a shorter version, and then you don't have to save two, three, or four separate presentations. Now, if you go to um, your Office button and click Save, next time you open it, well, let's let it save. Next time you open this presentation, it saved your sub presentation. I will close this and try again. I will restart. And as soon as it opens your file, if we go to slideshow and then custom slideshow, you see that our saved sub presentation is here. The nice thing about it is also that unlike saving two, three, or four separate presentations, if I make a change to any of the slides, this change is going to be reflected in any of my sub-presentations. So you will not have to go through three, four, or five versions making repeated changes. One change affects the main presentation and any sub-presentations you created. I think it's a useful way to create one longer presentation and then repurpose it for whatever you might need. And that's all for this week's Microsoft Office Feature of the Week. I'm George Ura for ICIT, and I hope you will join me next week. Thank you.